in the past three decades, we've seen many promising developments in spinal cord injury research. Many scientists are investigating ways of preventing permanent paralysis and repairing the injured spinal cord. Others are focused on rehabilitation, and other researchers and health professionals are working hard at further maximizing quality of life. All of these important research efforts share a common critical need for up-to-date, detailed information. How many people sustain spinal cord injuries each year? What are the causes of injury? What is the severity of each injury? What treatments best improve outcomes during recovery? Ideally, every healthcare professional or researcher could have access to this type of information. Information collected from every single person throughout their journey after spinal cord injury, from emergency treatment through acute care and rehabilitation, and beyond as they rejoin their families and friends in their communities. That type of information hasn't existed until the development of the Rick Hansen Spinal Cord Injury Registry. Funded by Health Canada through the Rick Hansen Institute, the registry is an unprecedented project that is collecting critical information to create a truly Canadian spinal cord injury research platform. One that will benefit all Canadians with spinal cord injury and every professional involved in spinal cord injury care far into the future. That registry data tells us uh, more about the patient population and their care needs and it's accurate data today. Uh, so we're able to predict trends based on that data now, so that's been a very huge success. The Rick Hansen Spinal Cord Injury Registry is based in Vancouver and collects data at sites in every major Canadian city. We now have sites across the country and that we are defining spinal cord injury in Canada and classifying it according to the uh, international standards and that we know so much more than we did before. The registry is largely the vision of two people, Canada's man in motion, Rick Hansen, and Dr. Marcel Dvorak, spine surgeon and researcher at Vancouver General Hospital and the University of British Columbia. This registry bridges provincial and health region borders to collect data from a large number of people, and then to allow researchers to see trend outcomes of different techniques and treatments across the spinal cord injury continuum of care. Based on this, healthcare professionals and researchers can work to improve emergency services, rehabilitation therapies, and treatment of secondary health problems. The registry is also a tool that researchers will use to enroll patients in clinical trials involving new promising treatments. Ultimately, I believe that the registry is going to play an important role in finding a cure for spinal cord injury. And in the meantime, it's going to help people with spinal cord injury to interact effectively with the healthcare system and to maximize their quality of life at work, at home, and at play. Participation in the registry is straightforward. People with spinal cord injuries, or their legal guardians, consent to sharing certain information about themselves and their injury with registry researchers. In the period immediately following an injury, most of this information can be collected from the patient's chart. Follow-up interviews are then conducted with the participant one year after their injury, two years after their injury, and then every five years after their injury. The Rick Hansen Spinal Cord Injury Registry is crucial to speed the search for a cure. And while finding the answers needed to be able to repair an injured spinal cord will take many years, the registry offers the opportunity to meet many other goals in the short term. There is a dialogue that's going on across the country that people are engaging in and they're excited about. And people see it as a platform for us to improve spinal care across the country. The registry will speed up the pace of discovering real solutions for spinal cord injury and improve the quality of life for people with SCI and their families. When we consent to allowing our information and experiences to be captured, we know that we're contributing to a body of knowledge that's already resulting in improvements and will someday help give us the ultimate answer.